Are you teaching your body to store fat? That's my question. And what are the lifestyle choices that we make that promote that? Let's take a look. I made a list of 15. I'll go through them quickly and I'll put a chart on my website so you can download it and take a look at it. Number one thing you can do to promote body fat storage is skip meals. And specifically, skipping breakfast is the worst thing you can do. It really promotes the body to store fat. Um, and what about eating meals? Do you eat meals that are of a single food? Maybe it's potatoes or uh, wheat or corn. One simple ingredient. Or do you have mixed meals? Are you drinking your calories with the juices, the pops, the sports drinks? That's a great way to spike insulin and that, as you know, will cause the body to store fat. Do you eat one or two large meals a day? because that's another great way that sends the signal to the body to store. Do you eat most of your calories in the morning? Or most likely, like most people in North America, you eat your calories later in the day. So you're eating larger meals later in the day. Another great way to store fat. And are you eating before bed? Not a good thing to do. So tell me about your protein intake. Because if you don't have enough protein coming in, your body may start mobilizing some muscle tissue. And muscle is where you mobilize and burn fat. Very important. And also if you don't have enough protein, that means that you're often eating more of the uh, simple foods, just carbs for example, and that will spike your blood sugar and that leads to the release of insulin. Another question I can ask you, and you've heard about this before, Tell me about your fruit and vegetable intake. And that also goes for berries, herbs, spices, greens, and so on. Because those foods are rich in what are called the phytonutrients. And the phytonutrients control your metabolism. And they can shift it into fat burning mode or shift it into fat storage mode. So where would you like to be in that continuum? And if you aren't eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, the chances are really good that you're going to be eating a lot more processed and packaged foods. And processed and packaged foods are often high in um, preservatives and new to nature molecules that actually may be stimulating your body to store fat. So what's your fruit and vegetable intake and are you eating too many processed and packaged foods? And tell me about your sleep. Are you getting the wonderful eight hours of sleep a night? Do you wake up recharged and refreshed? or do you drag yourself through the day? Sleep's really important. If you don't get enough sleep, uh, it increases insulin, increases cortisol, and ultimately it makes you tired, puts you in a poor mood, and it stimulates the body to store fat. And speaking of stress, how's your stress? Do you have some great stress management techniques? Do you have new strategies that can help you reduce stress? Very important. And stress is really good at storing the midsection belly fat, that really dangerous fat. So you want to make sure you get your stress under control. Go to de-stressing seminars to learn about this. Very important. Are you stimulating your muscles to burn fat? And are you stimulating your muscles both with resistance training and aerobic training? Very, very important. Tell me about your weight and weight loss programs. Have you gone through and done these programs where you try and lose weight? What happens when you do those types of programs, you may burn some fat, but often many people burn and ultimately end up wasting muscle tissue. And muscle so important, as I've said over and over, that's where you burn fat. It's your number one healthy biomarker. It's really, really vital. And tell me about the fats in your diet, speaking of fat. Do you eat a lot of the unhealthy diets, the saturated fats, the trans fats, the processed fats? Because those will really send a signal to store and accumulate body fat around your midsection. And are you taking an, and getting in enough spark plugs, the vitamins and minerals? And if not, I would strongly suggest you take a broad base multivitamin and mineral to provide the key enzymes, uh, the spark plugs, if you will, to stimulate your metabolism. Really vital. So there you go. You've got at least 15 core lifestyle choices because we can choose these things to do. And they're greatly going to influence whether we store fat or mobilize fat. And I know there was a lot, there was a lot there, so I made a summary chart for you and I posted it on my website, www 
healthsynergy.ca. We're in Canada, so it's a .ca. Go to downloads, it's right there for you. And I also put another chart on at least 15 things you can do to stimulate your body to burn fat. I hope this helps you move ahead with your progress. My name is Robert Ridpath. I hope this has served you well, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye for now.